I'm done sculpting for the night. Uh, this is a just a, a towel or a rag that is wet. Uh, I ran it under the sink and I wrung it out. It's not dripping, but it's wet. I don't want to make the clay so wet that it changes the sculpture. Um, I try to lay it on so it'll cover the teeth and the ears because often those are thinner and they're going to dry out faster. You can, of course, spray the sculpture directly. Just to show you, you could do that. This is water-based clay, once again, wet clay. And then I have a bag. You don't want to put a super giant garbage bag on it because then there's still a lot of air in there with it. I put the bag onto my hands inside out because I don't want to hurt the sculpture. And then I sort of flow the bag around. Uh, I have in the past accidentally dragged the, uh, the bag across a piece and, and changed the sculpt or moved something. If you're very worried about it and you think that you might not be back to this for a while, something you can do is take a bit of water in a cup or in a jar and put it into there with it. And now, if it gets warm, this water evaporates, goes up, hits the bag, and then re-moistens the sculpture. So this is fine. Ideally, you wanna check on this every day. If where it's gonna be is 90 degrees and windy, then that's gonna evaporate more moisture faster, so you might wanna check it you know, every 12 hours. But if it's room temperature and you don't have a fan blowing on it or anything, then this is fine for probably two days. The thicker the clay, the less it needs of this. If it's real thin, then it's gonna dry out faster. So this is how I take care of a sculpture at the end of the night. Um, and I'll come back to this tomorrow or the next day. And if I'm just gonna leave it alone, then all I do is I re-wet and I re-bag and then I'm done.